Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Um, you know who else is having a competition August 5th, Scott Sakura? Let me think for a second. Okay. Joey Rumpelstiltskin. That is it. Coming up August 5th, 2023. This is the 10th annual St. Louis Beard and Mustache Competition. Once again, at the Old Rock House. Dogs for the Brave, Honest Amish, all the good things. Let's dive into this. Miss Joey Rumpelstiltskin, what is up? Hello, hello. Hi. How are you? What what was that? That was her tiny hand. (laughs) Oh, I don't have any tiny hands. I can hold up I Natalie. Got gigantic she was hands. <laughs> but yeah, how are you doing? I'm well. I'm well. I'm how doing are you good. Oh, not you. It's my turn. Oh, sorry. I'm a dog. <laughs> I guess I'm going to play fetch during the show now, apparently. <laughs> nice. Christopher right. Wilson says, Hi, Joey. Hey. It's good to see you. <laughs> Christopher Wilson. I've never even heard of that guy. Yeah, I think he's got a. Uh, Holler or Donegal or something. I don't. Oh, did you read Rob Dean's post? He said he messed up. So let's go ahead and look at it. Um, pills and they don't work. I have a strawberry malt last night. First time ever having a malt and they are so good. That sounds it's perfectly fine. Like in using pills all the time to eat those strawberry malts. And then the comment came out all wrong doing voice text, LOL. What I said is I had my first strawberry malt last night. Right. Right. Sounds like you were having pills last Sounds night. Sounds like you were eating pills and milkshakes, Rob. That's mm. deadly combination. Nutritious. Unless it's, unless it's lactose. Pills, <laughs> I, that's how I have to drink milkshakes. Anyway. Joey. Hey. Number five tonight. Yeah. Yeah, the drive I, for five. That's, I uh, am looking forward to the delivery of my jacket anytime. Absolutely, so. yeah. We'll we'll definitely be getting uh, someone on that, Sweet. and you'll 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 get your drive for five jacket. And it'll probably be really it. professional and looking good. Are you asking questions, or are we just putting up five, Scott? No, oh. I'm just like showing everyone that if you trace <laughs> this on a piece of paper, you could make a fun uh, turkey, turkey for Ooh. Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we obviously we we were just going to not do a show tonight, but mm-hmm. we realized this is going to be number five, and you really wanted to get number five in before yeah. your number ten competition. Absolutely. So, so here we are. You know, we're we're making it happen for you, and uh, yeah, let's just let's get into this thing. This is like we said, your tenth annual. You're yeah. you're at the Rock House. That's where you were last yeah. year, correct? Yeah, we've been there for eight years now. Wow, that's a really cool venue. Um, how did y'all end up starting that relationship with with that venue? Sure. Our previous uh, charity that we were working with, uh, the Covering House, partners with the Old Rock House for an annual benefit there. So when we mentioned what we were up to, they were like, absolutely. And then when we changed to our new Dogs for Our Brave charity this uh, last year, the person who's in charge over there at the old rock house. She actually volunteered for them whenever they were first starting out. So she already had a great relationship with them and she was super happy that we were doing this. Cool. So you yeah, still kind of sort of yeah, demanded you still had that. that category. The best there's, friends. There's a best friends category. Well, yes. well let, I mean, you already brought it up. You want, Yeah. Well, when your venue demands that you do something, you do it. <laughs> okay. So, so what happened? What's this thing all about? The, the best, best friend. friend. Yeah. So Scott Sakura could, I could enter Scott into this category. You could, if you wanted to, but I feel like he might lose to a puppy. Oh, that would be God. hilarious. I wish we were both going to this. How, how, <laughs> cute, is, how cute is a puppy? Okay. Gosh. Oh, shut your mouth. You talk. 
and dogs don't. So that's where the balance lies. Wow. wow. <laughs> See, look how cocky she is after five yeah, times. Oh, I know. The first time she was all like, yes, yes, Mr. Talking Beards people, yes. whatever you want. Now Thank she's like, you. whatever, guys, I do what I want. You're that's just always slinging <laughs> milkshake. Oh, my dome is blinding. Here, I'll do it this. Happens. It's tell him to shut up and grow some. Be yeah, fine. shut up and grow some, Fabulier. Yeah, <laughs> Fabulier. John Fabula is going to be here in a, a, a couple days. Uh, nice. Corey, the ghost, Guile, and myself are both going to build him a um, a uh, booster seat so he can be like sitting with the judges at the judges panel. So his like the heads are all the same you know so yeah anyway sorry apparently, oh. apparently i need to be neutered for this competition as well oh is that true do you the do dogs need to be neutered to be in that category no all right. no but i mean i guess you should always spay and neuter that's what bob barker taught us there you go spay and neuter yourself scott sakura i will but so explain a little bit about this category i mean yeah. obviously you have your traditional categories for this event mm -hmm. uh and i always love Anyone who's watched Talking Beards before knows that I love competitions that have custom categories for their event. And since you guys are working with a dog-related uh, charity, having a dog-related uh, themed category, of course, is always an awesome thing. So yes. explain to us what your thoughts are on what criteria are needed for this category. Mm. So that's that's really good. Um, Other than me, I'm not going to judge. I'll, I'm emceeing the event, so I don't have the responsibility of judging. Uh, but some of our officers are going to come up for the dog portion. And I cannot imagine how they're going to pick one dog better than another dog. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, there will be first, second and third place. Everybody gets a <clears throat> excuse me. Everybody gets a trophy. Um, but. If you want to put a mustache and, or a beard on your dog, that's great. If your dog already has one of those great, like, Scottish, you know, they they had the little mustache and little beard thing happening naturally, that would be amazing. Um, I, it's any best friend is welcome with four legs and this dog a, has a dog. Mustache. Just not a cat. Eh, I can't. Ooh, so I don't think we should mix them this time. You know, yeah, we'll so see that how was, it goes in the future. That's what Wayne Petmore said. So this is not a cat-friendly competition. <laughs> <laughs> um well hmm. Hmm. i'll leave that alone okay <laughs> how about you leave that alone joey i'm gonna yeah cat's lives matter too all right they do. it's not just about dog. not by me though not, it's not sorry it's not <clears throat> so when does the bff category start is it uh, is it going to be before or after how's it where is it going to work into the play we're going to start that out at 6 30 while registration is still going on okay yeah that's so, always the best time to do it yeah, I think so. We'll do it beforehand and we'll do judging right there like we always do. And we'll present their, uh, the award to them also. So if the best friend needs to go somewhere else for the evening, that's perfectly fine if they want to cool. stay. Uh, it was all really inspired by Sasha, the dog that came to the competition last year. She was so well behaved and everybody loved her. And she was, you know, learning and doing what she does for work. Oh, this so. is great. <laughs> Got him. Good this job. Mosquitoes are flying you. around like crazy. <laughs> So, so yeah, so pardon me by doing that because I'm just taking him out of the air. He's just so excited about your I'm story, a, Joey. I'm like, you know, crap. 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 Fine. <laughs> so Saturday, the, the doors are gonna be at five o'clock, you said? Yep. And then that starts the, the BFF category six thirty and then mm -hmm. the competition seven ish. Yes. Cool. Yeah, we're not doing any kind of pre registration. So we'll do all the registration at the door when folks come through. Make sure we get yep. you in the right category and all that good stuff. How many categories are we having? Thirteen. Oh my gosh, like the original colonies. That's yeah. is that why you did it? Oh, absolutely. Oh that was gosh. the first thought. So is this <laughs> is this gonna be the, the dog categories is number fourteen? Or is uh, yeah, number I, okay. I had math. I told you I'm not great at the math. So no, it's fine. I was just making sure, <laughs> you know, of the S Scott Sakuras out there that was they were probably really confused with that. I was just making sure Is was your 14. dog about a size fourteen? See, exactly. No, no. <laughs> You know what I should have posted? That share's really going to your head, Scott. <laughs> you know, uh, it is. I just, oh, it's the Canadian wildfires or the smoke is blowing through the Great Lakes into through the area. So, How is the I'm Canadian wildfires smoke where you are? 
right now, Scott? Is there? They go, is it they, orange? Some of them do this. Some of right. them smoke a pipe. I don't right, know. But, I don't know how they smoke, Aaron. Yeah, well, the ones you see. How, I don't. How I'm not in Canada. It's like you're 50 miles that way. That's pretty close. That's closer I, than we are. I know. Well, well, I mean, I'm usually like closer to Mexico. That's how they pronounce it down there. It but up here, I am like closer to America's hat, which is mm-hmm. much closer than I am to Mexico down there in Teja. So, yeah, but I can't. I I can't. You're see bilingual anything. now. I know you like that. I like it. I'm, hey, con- we- <laughs> I'm connecting the two parts of North America. Scott Sakura connecting Together. all of North America I all am. by himself. One one tad at a time. One that's right. <laughs> all right, back on track, Joey. Yes. <laughs> America has a hat? What are we talking about? Canada. Yeah, oh. Canada's America's hat. Oh, okay. You didn't know that? Yeah, I'm sure they love that. And we Mexico's do. America's beard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there right there. All right. Duh. That's and why this part of the America is handsome. South America is like the body. Yeah. Yep. There's and no Arctic, arms or hands. The feet. That's the wiener. So are those Brazilian toes? <laughs> <laughs> no. That wasn't funny. It was not. Well, this is a very serious oh. program here. Joey. Rob Dean yeah, says, absolutely. Rob Dean got us back on track. Oh, here. Bad beard, beard categories. Thank you, <laughs> Sorry, Rob <pardon>. Dean. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's bossy. I he like is. The, well, I like the fact that someone's watching and paying attention. And Thank not. you for watching, Rob. Yes, we appreciate yes. you. All right. Categories. So categories. Any, anything new and exciting with your categories? Or what what are these 13 categories? Um, sort of the normal categories. We're just gonna throw them around a little differently. We're gonna make the whalers go first. You never see that happen, right? It's always the mustache guys. No, that makes sense. Hurry up and get the whalers. Yeah, out of the way. Right out of there. Right and there. then the goatee, followed by chops, natural stash. Wow. Yeah. We're going to do the style stash. Uh, you can have a beard if you want to. We won't judge it. Will that be but, a full beard style minute. stash category, or is that going to be mustache no, we have, just? Yeah, we have the three full beard categories as four to eight, eight to 12 and 12 to 16. And then we have an over 16 and I don't care what you do with your mustache in there. As long as it all looks nice. Okay. Styled stash is its own category though, with or without a beard. Gotcha. This is great. <laughs> and so with your, with your judging panel, are you going to do the the paddle judging again? Like you've done in the years past? Absolutely. I want to see those numbers. This is a show me state. Show yeah. me that. Show, show me, me that score. Numbers. <laughs> Yeah, and and that gives everybody the opportunity to to you know root on your favorite people, and you know exactly yep. who's getting the tens, who's getting the eights, and the ones, yep. and you know <laughs> right away, so you can just cheer or boo or whatever. You can interact with the scores, yes. and that's, that's who's going to be there. Of, wow, maybe <laughs> tune in and find out. Probably. Yeah. Let's give all the judges just ones and twos for the uh, whalers and the chops category. Yeah, don't even get mm. yeah, just, just they whalers and chops. On that. I like the chops. Sorry, I know you do. You you are you wearing those chops again this year? No, are you going to be you're going to be dishonest Amish at your comp? Or are you going to? No, I can't the- imagine doing the whole thing whiskering it up. I might oh, you, do it for a category or two. You've done it before, right? I have. Yes, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, stay oh. inside. Yeah, I wear my true. beard all the time. What's the problem? Your glue won't melt. You don't know that. I have to reapply every. You don't day. know his life. I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it like Elmer's? You just uh, gorilla, gorilla glue. Yeah. That is the only way to go. Yeah, absolutely. Right on the skin. No. Right. I mean, ever so we, you know, I'm with Sean Glander. And everybody oh. knows that Sean Glander put himself in the hospital using Gorilla Glue. So, yeah. yeah, that's definitely what we do up here. We use Gorilla sure. Glue to hold our beards on. Just- I have used it directly on my skin in an accidental situation. And it is it is scary, but it really keeps that beard on. It does. Look at Scott's. It's been on for years. <laughs> I know. I can't get it off my face. <laughs> I know. I don't use it on my head. That's why it's all clearly. Out, but, uh, so, okay. So w- what about like a uh, freestyle whiskerina categories? What do you got for those? Yeah, we'll do a realistic whiskerina and a creative whiskerina and then a uh, freestyle to close out the categories for the night. And, and uh, 
all night are you going to do the categories after each or the trophies after each category? You're going to no. wait into the no, night. No, that's for, just for the dogs. Okay, just for the dogs. So yeah. the you so get the, to see your the whalers home. will get their trophy right away. <laughs> right. Those are whales, not dogs. There is oh, no such bad. thing same, as a whale dog. Same thing. Hmm. Whale dogs. <clears throat> but there is such right. a thing as dog chops. Yeah, I'd like to see that. That would be Let's wonderful. See. Here's a dog then, mustache. Yeah, that guy, the golden doodle. They could do the chops. Yeah. You should you should shave a Nico into chops. Maybe you should shave your face into Nico. I I'll do it. You do it, I'll do it. Nope. So you're you're uh you've already brought up your judges panel a little bit, Joey. Do you want to tell us who those judges are for this sure. fine event? Yeah, uh, we're going to bring back Bradley with Dogs for Our Brave. He had such a great time last year, and we really like involving the charity as well. Plus, he brought Sasha and How Do You Not Bring a Dog. Um, So we're really happy for Bradley to be back. And then we have uh, Dan Tackleson from Oklahoma. So we're really excited to see him. Um, Christopher Doc Wilson. Never heard of him. Not one time. No. No, Um, Where's that guy from? He's the uh, VP of the Hoosier Beard Alliance. So Hoosiers and Indiana have to go together, right? I guess. Yeah. I think they make tires. Hoosier tires. Right. For racing. So he's a race car driver. Okay. Christopher Wilson, the race car driver from Indiana. That's pretty cool. And also a part-time doctor, if you didn't know. And then um, Big Papa Bougie. Big Papa Bougie. I don't know if anybody knows him, though. Uh, president of the Central him. Texas Beard and Mustache Club, coming all the way up from Texas. Okay. Teha. Teha. And then Stu Eggers from Indiana. What? Or yeah. if he knows Doc, he's also from Indiana. Hmm. Maybe they'll carpool. They should. They could probably ride in that beard. Look at that. That thing's bigger <laughs> than Chris Wilson. Yes, I've seen a wonderful picture of Chris getting to use Stu's beard. Recently at a competition, that was great. Yeah, I just I just Love ran across show. that picture when I was getting ready for tonight. I was like, "What is up?" That's that like- was the picture they submitted for uh, Talking oh. Beards, the club, the competition, Volume Three, uh, combo category. Wonderful. That- not not to be confused with the little pretzels with the cheese in them. No, this is a different one. Different. It was a beard category. Oh, not not combos with pretzels and cheese. Oh, those are gross. Ew. Yeah. Well, wow. You just called two yeah. of your judges gross. <laughs> no. <Wow. Rude. laughs> combos Chris and food are gross. <laughs> you are gross. Now, well, they can take it up with me on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. How rude. <laughs> we'll hash it out on the catwalk. So. The catwalk, you're bringing yeah. that back as oh, well. Absolutely, I love that about y'all's event. You can kind of walk out into the crowd. Scott Sakura, why is it not called a dog walk if you're doing a uh, dog thing? Good. That's point. a really good question. We may have to that's, change that up. Okay, right. I'll talk to they and that's see your, if we can figure it out. That's your mm-hmm. only free one you're getting from me tonight. Okay, I'll make notes. Every, everything else you got to pay for. Yeah, everything after else. that. After yeah, that, <clears throat> taking notes. Okay. All right, so so you are emceeing the event. Are you going yes. to be? Are you doing it by yourself this year? Do you have helpers? How are you going to do it? Um, well, I'm going to do it by myself. But Josh, you know, I always make him come up on stage and say a little something as the president. Plus, after your few drinks, you, you know, can't keep him from chatting and taking his shirt off. If y'all seen that photo recently? Is he from North Carolina? No, no. Oh. I think he's from Oklahoma originally. You know, you know what they say about people from North Carolina. They they take their shirt off and twist it around their head like a helicopter. Oh, you, you didn't know that? I did not know that. No. Yeah, that's that's what people mm-hmm. from North Carolina are famous for doing. All right. Thought everybody knew that. Come on, yeah, Joey. Yeah. No, I'm behind you're on in, times. What do I know? You're in Parks and Rec. You should know these things. Come on now. <laughs> I got a lot going on with Parks and Rec. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got going on with Parks and Rec? Can you tell All anybody any stuff. anything cool and exciting happened at work today um, that you can talk about? Yeah, the geese really got crazy and just pooped all over the sidewalk. And, well, that upsets people. So that was really important. So do you have to go clean the poop off the sidewalk? Oh, no. No, no. So they they call you, and then you call the poop cleaning people, and the poop cleaning people go clean it. Man, Yes, I dispatch them. That is some important. Sorry, dispatch. I didn't mean to say you just called them. You dispatch them. (laughs) Dispatch them. You dispatch the the duck. (laughs) 
geese <laughs> poop cleaners, and then they just show up. Yeah. You're so full of crap. Whoa. <laughs> Sauerkraut. Who knows what that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he know we're 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 recording a very professional, very professional podcast here? This is Jeez. like. Gosh, come on now. Dozens of people are probably going to hear this. Yeah. Absolutely. The whole episode. Tens of dozens. Tens of die. dozens. <laughs> Back on track. So we got yeah. some judges. We got some MC. We've got yep. a venue. Uh, so your your charity. Tell tell us about this charity. You said you changed a couple years ago. Yeah. So this is the second, third time you've, you've worked? This is charity? our second time. Okay. Second so time with Dance for a Brave. So um, they train service dogs. Um no charge at all to veterans that they match with and they really do their best to use a rescue dog. So they save two lives at once. I mean, that's super cool. Yeah, absolutely. Right. That's, that's amazing, amazing stuff. Have y'all done anything else with this organization or is it just pretty much y'all just work with them for your, your, your competition or do you do other stuff? So far for the competitions, but we're going to do some volunteer days with them as cool. well. I like so that. You I like said that you, you said that last year was your first year working for them. How much did you raise for them? And how much does it cost to provide one of the uh, mm. training sessions for like the dogs? I, I don't know if you know this, but. No, I do. Yeah. Oh, so okay. last year we were able to raise a total of $5,000. Um, and that is exactly the amount that they need to do a match for their veteran and their dog. So we were able to make sure that one veteran got one dog and, for $5,000, I think we, it was just wonderful amount of money that we were able to raise for them. And we hope to be able to do it again this year. So let's go for two dogs. That would, that would be, be great. Cool. I mean, <laughs> we'll give them as much money as we possibly can. So how long does that $5,000 cover that, that relationship? Does it? So that's is, for the whole training process of it. And then um, as they're doing the selection, there's more things involved with bringing both the dog and the veteran to the same site and doing more training one-on-one -on -one with them together. So that 5,000 covers everything that they need for the pairing. Very cool. Yeah. It felt great to be able to give them that much. Yeah, absolutely. Especially since, you know, 5,000 is one whole, one whole set. So yep. that's, that's what you're shooting for each time would be five, 10, $15,000 to try to get that together. So you hit it, yeah. you hit, you hit your 5,000. I know that's pretty awesome. I mean, and it makes such a big difference. I mean, it makes such a big difference to mm -hmm. the person for sure. Like, I yep. mean, as we were talking earlier about dogs and stuff and my dog, like my dog saved my life, honest to God. Like he just, he will, he, he became my everything in my darkest hour and dogs just give you unconditional love, no matter what they don't, they may get a little pissy with you, but no matter what, they will always love you. They will, you know, they don't judge you or anything. And it just, it, it's the one and only thing you can count on in your life. And and for someone who like, you know, a vet or someone that's, you know, dealing with depression or mm -hmm. any kind of stuff like that, you know, bringing some positive light into their life, like a dog, for instance, yeah. can just completely change everything. And that's why I feel Nico did to me. Like he just, he saved my life and changed everything. Hey, come here. Come here, Nico. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> he, he just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> he like, knew. I'm, I'm Nico. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi, Nico. Hi, Nico. Yeah. Look at him. He's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Craft him up a little beer and bring him along. It'd be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll, I'll scoot over so you can so you can be more eccentric. Oh. That's a yeah, good idea. He's out of here. He's just going to lay down. No, he's actually sitting next to me. That's funny. <laughs> oh, do we, oh, there we go. Sorry. Okay. But can, sorry. Yeah. So this is such a great, great charity you guys are raising money for. And yeah, it is the, the love of a dog is something just can't put a price on, but absolutely $14. <laughs> no, five, at least 5,000 to train. Oh, dogs. at least. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Five thousand fourteen dollars. That's how much a dog is worth. Cats, Price. way more priceless. Yeah, because mm. cats, you train them like yeah, you, you they like poop in this assholes. box and they do it, and then you're like, here's this food and this water. I'm gonna leave you for a week, and they're like, all right, man, take it easy, and then they just like hang out. The end. St. Louis Rob says rad. he can't live without his dog. 
Jeff Harris says reporting fake news once again from outside. That was the big uh, power outage in Texas last year where I was reporting that was. live from Texas. I'm glad you're not outside in Texas right now reporting because it's like 118 degrees in Austin. Yeah, I know he'd be it, melting in that sweatshirt. Dude, it's he's six, been, 64 here in Ohio right now. 64 degrees. It is. Dang it. My watch is being dumb. Uh, no, it, that's just you. 91. It's still 91 here. So. But no humidity, like compared to oh. South Carolina. So that's yeah, it's, where it's eighty it's a, here, but it feels like it's ninety three. Uh huh. Yeah, it's yeah. ninety one here. It feels like ninety one. <laughs> oh, Thanks, <yeah>. Russ. <laughs> this is the more important one. Paul Mandalorian cannot live without Scott. This is true. We've had very. We've not reconnected. We've brought our love back together because it's been so long. Did you uh, has he made any pizza roll tacos for nope. Element Forty One this week? They're coming via the train to you right now. Surprise! <laughs> no, but uh, no, he's he's made a few really good. He made oh some wings. He didn't make them. He was sitting next to me while the boys made the wings. But we're not here to talk about that. But thank you, Paul. Okay, hey Paul. Let's talk about the competition. Some more. Uh, so, photographer, I saw that yeah. on the event page. Ooh. You. Uh, yeah. Talk about that. How's this? Mark uh, Burns. Mark, Mark. I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. He's so, coming. So excited. He's coming. He's going to do photography for us. He's going to be in the crowd doing live shots. I'm stoked because I really just enjoy his photography in general. Yeah. He's where, where's, he, Holy cow. where's he going to be set up at your venue? He's not. He's going to be free roaming and doing okay. whatever he wants to do. Okay. So he's not going to have like a booth set up downstairs of the. No. The, Okay. And we've done that before and had really great results with it, but it certainly does put the photographer in the basement. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, we want him to enjoy the competition. I mean, but, but in all reality, if anybody deserves to be down in the basement, it's Mark Burns. So, yeah, I mean, the only other person that would deserve to be down there more is if you had Scott Sakura come be your photographer for your event. That's fair. With that face right there. <laughs> right there. It's a good looking face. I'm so handsome. Thank you. So we got some photographer stuff, uh, yeah. charity stuff, uh, Friday Friday night pre party, Sunday mm -hmm. send off stuff. Were you doing any of that this year? No, I don't think we really are. Um, okay. We've all got really busy work lives right now, and it's just made it mm -hmm. hard to plan other things. Do you have anything tentative for for people on Friday night? Is there like a unofficial meetup or anything, or it's just absolutely nothing. You just we, come to town and wing it. Yeah, no, but it's come to town and wing it. I mean, St. Louis is really great. There's a lot of things to do down there. Uh, we posted a, a link in the event for people who were coming to town to spend some time for things to do like 101 great things to do in St. Louis. And I Perfect. went through the list and all of those things are phenomenal. Um, have you done all 101 things on the list? Almost, but I've lived okay. here all my life. So right, obviously, but I mean, yeah. I was it was I was genuinely kind of asking if you'd done them all, but you need to I, knock them all out. You, I, you yeah, really, no, I really should actually look at the it. list and complete it for sure. But a lot of the things were like, oh yeah, absolutely. The city Museum. If you come to St. Louis and you don't go to City Museum, you are really missing out. Whether you take okay. kids or you don't, uh, that's it, a wonderful spot. How much is it to get into the City Museum? Do you remember? I think it's like 12. Okay. That's reasonable. Yeah. And that's if you do all 10 floors of fun that they have there. You can get, I think, on the roof for an ac an extra five. And the roof is really cool. There's a bus up there. 12, 12 hot dogs the to get in there and five cheeseburgers to get yep. onto the roof where the bus yep. is at. It's worth it, though. It's, they stay open until 3 a.m. There's a bar. It's just at a great the place. city museum. Yeah. They actually have two bars in there. That's That's freaking awesome. That's for sure. Smart. It's a great place that to go. That is super smart. Is it like a an event venue as well? Do they have um, any? Yeah. No, they do have event stuff in there. And I know that they do weddings as well. That's that's awesome. That's yeah. super cool. Like, it's one of the best places to hit in St. Louis. Okay. Uh, if you want to come here and you don't have any money to do anything, we all of our museums here and our zoo are all free. Except for the city well museum, which 12. Yeah, but the money goes to the dogs. there. <laughs> hot dogs. Or Working. you could just go to the city museum, but like I know Joey Rumpel, and they'll That's just right. let they'll freaking let you <laughs> in for sure. Yeah, they take, fried, they ravioli. Take fried ravioli at the door. What's uh, what's fried ravioli? What's the deal with that? 
Why well, is that a thing? It's not baked. It's fried. So well, it's I understand what the 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 item is to what's eat. The what's the gimmick to it? What's the significance to fried ravioli and the St. Louis beard and mustache competition here? It came from St. Louis, and I think it's on the menu. I have to double check. We posted the menu for the uh, for the space as well at the Old Rock House. Okay, so if you so want to get a, food, you can. It is a treat at the Old Rock House. Yes. Per Brad Felipe El Taco. The right. Paternic. Paternic. <laughs> St. Louis Rob has a question. And oh. I know that I believe if I did see some stuff here, he writes, I think last year they had a best in show award. Will they be doing it again this year at the St. Louis beard and mustache competition? Yeah, absolutely. You got to earn it. Oh, dang. Shots fired <laughs> STL Rob. She said, you got to earn it. Yep. Oh, drop that mic, Joey. So yeah. <laughs> you will have you'll have a best in show. Is there any other specialty awards you'll all be giving out at the event, or is it? Just we always have one surprise thing that happens. It's always the same thing, but we don't talk about it. What's the surprise this year? It's the same thing. Well, Eric. To keep it under wraps. Yeah, well, I know, but it's fine. You can just tell us. This is you will what... win a trophy for it, but you, you don't. I will do it going in. Yes, okay. I'm not even going to be there, and I'm winning a trophy, Scott. <laughs> and, and no, actually. Me. I've never seen you participate in the way that we're looking for for Saturday. So I don't know if you could win it. Oh, because you got to be naked? No, oh, highly. I always, I always wear clothes. Well, this I is, don't know. This is I guess the best if it works. show at Beards on the Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so show us your thing. What, what's your special <laughs> thing that you're going to show us? Apparently, oh. it was something about nine inches in the front yard or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's get later. a lot of rain. That's <laughs> oh. tonight. Joe yeah, said, showed they're getting nine inches tonight of cold, hard rain. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> rain. Rain. Precipitation. Precipitation. Jeez. So it's it's some sort of be crazy wear hot dog suit award. Yeah, I don't do that. I wear just normal. I don't wear hot dog suits. So that's that's exactly it. I've never participated in the hot dog suit contest there. That's very fair. I don't even like soup. Nope. Scott can't even eat. He doesn't even have any soup boys at all to hold his mustache back and have him eat his soup or anything. That's sad. <laughs> what a love. No, soup. please. No nudity. Paul Mandalorian says, I mean, I can't promise anything. We got a cat walk. So do anything. Dog. Walk. dog walk. Shit. I it's even a, made a note. I got to make a, a bigger note. It dog is a dog. Walk. God, that really sounds dog. like work though. The dog a, walk. Dog walk. Yeah. Dog walk. Not doing more work. I don't know. What else we got? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Raffles. <laughs> raffles. No, raffles for sure. Yeah. Lots of raffles. Silent auction. Um, we'll do a 50-50, of course. Those always go over really well. Um, McKenna will be doing our 50-50 this year. She's done it for us, I think, almost every year, except the couple that she's judged. Uh, so we're glad to have her back with us as well. Yeah. So you got lots of good help. Yep. Are you? Why? Why are you just excited about her back? Why not her front or her top or her bottom? I mean, she's wonderful all around, to be honest. So okay. This yeah. Is good. But most importantly, her back. Her back. It is nice. Yeah. yeah. I'll admit. Here's a really <laughs> important question. Okay. Yes. Is chili soup? What do you no. Think? Imagine why? putting soup on a hot dog. Because if your chili is soupy, it's not chili. So if you had to classify it as a food outside of chili, you can't just say it's chili. What would you classify it as then? Chowder. Chowder. Isn't chowder soup? I don't think so. But chowders can be very thin, like a New England clam chowder Uh tends to be very runny. Yeah, this is this is like the whole like tacos. Is it a sandwich thing? Sure. It's, it's the mm. and tacos and hot dogs are the same food. One is just American and one is from Mexico. And so. yeah, I'll agree Paul with that. brings up another good one. Why is chili always hot with a name like chili? You would think it's cold. Mm. You have you ever had cold chili? Yeah, it's not it good. Makes you sick. Oh, right. I don't know. Cold chili. I, I mean, I guess if you eat it right from the fridge, it would be an okay temperature. Hotty. But weird. 
So back to back to the main thing. So what okay. what is chili? Is it if it's, it's not a chowder. soup? But it's that's not that's a classic thing. No, it's not. Clatter's chowder soup. <laughs> Paul's a Paul's, yeah, a, Paul's chef. a chef. He he's, what he's is telling it? what's the this. freaking answer here, Paul? Yeah, you're, you're chiming in with all this nonsense. We're, we have a hard hitting question right here on the docket right now. Is chili a soup? I feel like these are even conversations that we've sat at the bar for many hours talking about this stuff. Um, but most importantly, Jeff Harris says that he has seen Fabs eat cold chili. So there mm. you go. There's your answer right there. Chili is a stew. Okay. Oh. Okay. I then. mean, because yeah, okay. I mean, think of like a beef stew. I mean, there's yeah. lots of beef. Yeah. And- that's Would true. you consider but- beef stew a soup? I guess if it was really runny. Well, there you well, go. What about, ve- what about vegetable soup? There's like hunks of like vegetables in it. There's it's very it hearty. Expensive. Chili is a condiment. <laughs> Shut up, Dan. On a hot dog. Yeah, on a hot dog, but not just like a bowl of it. It's not. It's not a condiment anymore. I, this is the best comment right here. Mm. He's from California, so he's stupid. I yeah. Mean, you said it, Jeff Harris. He's sensitive. He's very offended by this. He's probably going to move to Texas now. I think I think Fab should it. probably move to Carolina just because of what you said, Jeff Harris. I think that's what he should do. It's always running after you eat it. That doesn't help. The we have asked you a serious. Yes, you're question, supposed to be Paul the professional Mandalorian. here, Paul. You're when you have a professional in the group, that is who is supposed to answer this question. If we had a question sure. about duck poop, we would contact Joey Rumpel, and she would dispatch <laughs> someone yes. the answer. Yes. So, it's not and, duck poop. It's Canadian geese. Poop. Yeah, it was geese. It was, it was geese. Oh, so do you have a different person for duck poop than from your geese poop, or is it the same no. person you would dispatch? It's the same person. What same, if it was? Yeah. What if it was like people? What if it was like dog poop? What would you do about that? Oh, I would definitely call Scott the head of maintenance. I am doing. Scott, you're the head of maintenance. I am Promotion not. is this is lies. And in charge of the poop. Paul Mandalorian is not helping us with this question. Yeah. He's, oh. He's, he's just not helping. I'm not going to hang out with you anymore this entire week, Paul. Yeah, Paul, right. that's what you get. That's what you get. You're yeah. going to have Scott hanging out with you, but not anymore. Not I'm going to go hang out at the other restaurant down the street. There's not another restaurant down the street. Shut McDonald's? Up. Sheets? <laughs> Sheets. There's Scott's going to go hang out at Sheets. All right. Play. What else? All right. Any? Uh, all right. So I know we talked about the uh, the Sunday. Is there any pre party Saturday or sorry Friday? So it's just this straight up event. Five o'clock are the doors. The dogs are at six thirty. Yep. Competition starts at seven. Mm-hmm. There is a raffle, a 50-50, a silent auction. Yeah. There's thirteen categories. Fourteen if you count the dogs. Yes. Uh, best in show, something to do with dressing about a hot dog, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, it's all to benefit. Uh, but what was the charity name again? Dogs for our brave. Dogs for our brave. Five thousand dollars to train one dog. And uh, we're trying to get, uh, we want to train three dogs. That's what we want to go for. Wonderful. We would love that. Uh, any, so did I forget anything? Did I miss anything? I got all the major points. Is, is there anything all the people need to know? Cause as we're getting ready to wrap up here. No, I think that's it. Okay. You're bye. Awesome. Yeah, later. <laughs> <tigers>. <laughs> all right. Well, Joey, thank you for stopping by <laughs> and you. uh, your fifth time. You did it. That jacket will be on the way. And if not, you can reach out to Scott Sakura at thebeardcaster.com yes. and he will he will get you hooked up with that jacket. And everybody, if you are in the St. Louis area, August 5th, you know, around 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, you can stop by the old rock house and you can check out the 10th annual St. Louis Beard and Mustache Competition. That's it, everybody. That's it. Thank you, Joey. Thank you. Thank you, Joey. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. My train's going by. I was trying to... It's hard to read a... It's hard to read a promo when there's a train going. I was trying to mute myself. Is it? Okay, we'll just put it up there and I'll talk. I'm just trying to mute around the the train. That was all. We we got it. I think it's gone. Maybe one more beep. I don't know. You're, You're in the dark now, Scott. I know I am. My gosh, that's crazy. It looks good, though.
It does. It, I, I wear it very well. You do. I'm glad you got ring lights for this episode. I know. I, have, <laughs> I, I brought it. Not worked. I know. I brought. I brought one of them. I brought my small one because at home, at my studio at home, I have a, a really nice big mm-hmm. uh, Elgato one, which are like the the really really good ones. And then I had these like really small ones for a long time, and I had to. I had like three of them, and it just stole the three of them did not put off enough light, but like right now it works really good. I, you know, as we began the show, it was nice and light out here. You could see all the beautiful plants and everything and the birds and it happened got, fast. It was, it was bright. And the next thing I knew it was dark on you. And, uh, it, it, just before we, uh, get wrapped up here, uh, Kyle Waller just reminded me cause I meant to ask him before, but, uh, Kyle's going to be starting a podcast, uh, type in here real quick so we can talk a little bit more about it real fast uh, to remind everyone what it's about. But, uh, Kyle's uh, starting a new podcast. It's called the shape podcast. It's going to be uh Friday nights. Uh, I'm assuming that you need to go searching on Facebook for uh, the shape podcast, and then you can follow the show and check it out. Um, it's an sharing acronym hope. for sharing hope there you go. Uh, and positive energy. So uh, I've, been working with him a little bit on trying to get this all up and running and everything. And I'm really Very excited cool. to find out about it. And uh, I'm going to be one of the guests coming up on the 18th, I believe. Oh we my about. gosh. Look at you. Yeah. So making the, uh, making the round Scott Sakura. Well, and, and just to, to preface this too, like one of the big things that uh, I've noticed about my trip home is there's just been a lot of talk about the be quitting drinking. I yeah, you want to talk about that, Amy? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to talk about it because um, I'm at 351 days right now. So I'm like literally okay. a week away from uh, it being one year. And we definitely wanted to do a show revolved around that. And I mean, maybe that could be something we break half of our show into next week. Uh, or shit, we're not next, doing the show next, next week. week. Yeah, I know. I, I thought about that too. Yeah, that's all right. But anyways. Uh, hey, maybe we'll do a, we could do like a Wednesday thing next week or something. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk yeah. about it. Maybe we'll we should do it on a Friday night while Kyle's doing his show. At the same time as Kyle's show. Sense. Perfect. Yeah. Gosh, now the mosquitoes get. Oh, but, uh, but anyways, yeah, the, the, a lot of people have been extremely inquisitive about it and it's been super awesome. And I, I think that I've inspired a few other people. I mean, my family, a lot of people in my family have, uh, uh, stopped drinking and cut. Cause that was kind of what y'all did, right? Y'all just yeah. kind of, that was, that was just the thing to do. And you left and you went to the big city and you come so, back a, a different man now. Yeah. And this is true right here. Like or it's Kyle says, or, and so if anyone, I mean, and Aaron and I have talked about this recently too, about we just have really noticed a, a heavy influx of a lot of people in the bearding community uh, that have stopped drinking, been, stopped drinking recently or trying to quit recently or have been sober for many years um, mm-hmm. and either uh, not only just drinking, but other substances and such. Right. But, uh, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, so I'll, I'll be on Kyle's show talking about that and everything. And I'm really excited to talk about my journey from, I mean, I want to talk about, uh, you know, my younger age of how I was extremely anti drinking and going through my twenties and how I just didn't like it and how a few incidents in my life kind of turned the switch on to it and my up and downs that I had had with it. So I'm really excited to share the stories about that. So make sure you guys uh, get up and follow Kyle's show. Yeah, it's um, a good show. It'd be a, be a yeah. really good show. Yeah. I remember it's called the shape podcast. Uh, shape. Just go find it on uh, Facebook. I'm assuming that's correct right now. Kyle. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll correct. share it on talking beards. And, and obviously if Scott goes on an episode of a show, I'm, I'll share it and make sure everybody can find the links and stuff that the best I can do. But do you, uh, so you, you said that you, you obviously you're in Chardon now and, and people are, are excited or, or what, what's, what's been the overall reaction with you not drinking or unless you would just want to keep nope. it all for Kyle's show. No, I mean, just briefly to, to talk about my trip, though, but everyone's been extremely re- support. I mean, just as Paul says right here, like everyone's been extremely supportive. And in fact, tonight, uh, as I stopped there after work, uh, Paula, or my favorite bartender up there, she bought a bottle of this basically non-alcoholic whiskey. And so there's she a was, non-alcoholic whiskey. Yeah, it, it it's I had it, no idea. 
Yeah, it tastes like bourbon, but it does not have the bite. So, so but- with with that, um, I, I had recently learned that apparently there's a machine that they can send alcohol through that will like zap the alcohol out of it. Mm, maybe I, that's maybe that's what they did with that whiskey. Apparently, yeah, so but they also make other spirits too. And actually, Paul, uh, tomorrow he's going to go to the liquor store and he's going to pick up a bottle of non-alcoholic vodka and non-alcoholic gin. What? And we're going to try to work on some different uh, recipes for some non-alcoholic beverages to serve at Element Forty One. Uh, they call them mocktails. Like, absolutely, it, man, it's a big thing going on. And that's the thing too is like you know. Some places like, you know, I I didn't, when I first started quitting drinking, like I didn't like going out because it's just, it was like, it, it, it felt uncomfortable. You felt the pressure, you felt the desire. And it's like, Hey, if I have something else that I can substitute it with, so I'm still having something that tastes similar and I still feel like I'm being social and what about like when you're down in Texas and stuff, do you drink those like taco Chico's taco Chico's or whatever those like flavored waters? Yeah, I drink. I, that's normally what I drink is just like a cool. uh, seltzer, not, not, not the alcoholic seltzer water, but the sparkling. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously I drink, but, yeah. and, and I do, I do drink, the, I do drink the non-alcoholic beers too. And there's tons of those like out now it's like amazing. Like every, brand makes a non-alcoholic beer and in fact budweiser makes an absolute zero alcohol most of them are like 0.5 and i'm fine with that like i mean it's just it's it's the same as taking like nyquil or something like that it's about the same amount of alcohol that you're going to get so Hmm. um but yeah so the journey has been really exciting and coming up on my year anniversary which like i said we'll talk on kyle's show uh but being back home when everyone knew what a drinker I was before and like I was around tons of people that were drinking this weekend and it was, I was fine. I had a fun time. No one pressured me. Everyone was super supportive. People were super inquisitive and I feel like I've inquisitive in a good way. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, like, how'd you do it? Like, Oh, this sounds interesting. Like, how did you feel? Like lots of good questions. And, and, you know, I'm glad that I can share what I'm going through and people see a difference in me and people experience a difference, especially on this trip. But, uh, I I feel like I've inspired quite a few people to join this journey and, or, or get to the point of trying to. So we'll go out there and keep doing good work. Scott Sakura. Ah, spread the words, man. Spread the word, buddy. Spread it. But yeah, so we want to thank everyone for, uh, tuning into the show tonight. Just a lot of great people here tonight from all over the country, all over the world. Yeah, and want to thank Joey for coming to talk about the competition that's going to be this weekend. And uh, best best of luck to them raising money for the for the doggies. And don't forget, it's a dog walk, Joey. Yeah, to go to St. Louis and and walk down the dog walk and show off your facial hair and and all that this weekend, St. Louis. If you're in St. Louis, there's a good event. If you are in the West Coast or you know, if you just feel like super traveling, there's a good event and there's there's probably other stuff going on as well. But those are two fantastic events that are happening this weekend. So I'm Aaron D. Johnson. I'm uh I'm in Spokane. I'll be up here all week. And yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Aaron D. Johnson, social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I forgot the other one. Threads. There it is. That was the thing. And Scott Sakura. I I came unplugged, sorry. Okay. I, you were just throwing up the one. I didn't know. Number one, Scott Sakura. Oh yeah, no, I I unplugged my headphones so I couldn't. I didn't hear anything you said. So, wow, oh, yeah, just the normal stuff. Go ahead. All you right, but anyways, yeah. So everyone, please uh, go check out uh, honestamish dot com. Go to honestamish dot com if you guys are looking for some new products or to replenish your stock of great products that you've probably won at a various beard competitions around the country that honest Amish has sponsored. Make sure you go to the website and uh, put in your promo code talking beards. You'll get 15% off your order, free shipping on $35 or more domestically. And last but not least, please go over to thebeardcalendar.com. Uh, if you have an event you would like to submit, there's a little thing, a little box, at the bottom right corner that pops up when you get there, click on it and you can submit your event. And if you want to know all the events that are going on currently or within the next up to a year, 
uh, all these charity events, either beard competitions or uh, various beard or mustache related events going on, like the beard bowling event that they just did uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, you're going to find all that information at thebeardcalendar.com. That's it. So everybody have a great night, great evening, great week and all that good stuff. And well, we won't see you next week, but who knows? Maybe we'll see you next week on a, on a different night or something. But Tuesday, obviously not going to work for us. Uh, but yeah, everybody have a great night. There's that thing. Where's the other thing? I don't know. Anyway, have a great night. It's in your pants. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.